What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain to you how to compare two linked lists to check if they are equal recursively. So here let's say I have this uh, linked list 1, 2, 3 and this goes in all, right? And then let's say I have this linked list 1, 2, and then 4, okay? And this goes in all. Well, first of all, what should I do? Um, you should think about this. Uh, we're going to do this recursively. Because recursion is always easy for the linked list. Okay? So let's say I'm going to do this recursively. I have the first list of 1 and the second list of 1. All right, I'm going to keep calling next over and over and over again. And let's say I reach the end of the list, okay? I reach the end of the list. I keep going next for both of these over and over again until I reach the end of the list. Well, if my first two nodes here are null, these are equal, right? Think about it. If they're null, then they're just going to be equal. So that's the base case, right? If they're null, then they're equal, right? If they're if both or both of them null, then they're equal, right? Now let's say this 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 wasn't null, right? So the second case is what if this was like a five, right? If this is a five, well, if this is a five and this is a null, then they're definitely not equal, right? This first list and the second one is definitely not equal. No matter what you 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 don't have to check the rest of the list because you know that these two are not equal at all, right? Because null, this one's null, this one's five, okay? So if they're both null, we know they're equal. If one of this list is not null, then it's definitely not equal. Now, um, what if the other list is not null? Like, let's let's say this was null and this list was actually point to five, right? Then they're definitely they're also not equal, right? Because this five is not equal to this null. Like this node, if we're just comparing this last node of five compared to this null, this node of null, it's definitely not equal, right? So if they're both null, we're going to return true. Right when we reach the end of the list, they're both null. They're, we're going to return true. Right, if we're both null, then we're going to return true. If I else if otherwise, if one of them is null, or the other one is null, then we're returning false. Right, if you think about it, like if they're both null, we're going to return true. Now, if one of them is not null, otherwise, let's say they're not both null. One of them is not null. Right, so one of them points to five. Then we know it's going to be false, right? If this is not null, then it's five. But also, if the other one's not null, so let's say if this list is not null, and this is five, then we're going to return false. So those are our two base cases. If they're both null, we are going to return um, true. If either of them is not null, right? Either of them is equal to null, right? If either of them is equal to null, then we're going to return false. Right now, what are we going to do next? Um, otherwise, we're gonna, then let's say they're both not null, right? Then let's say we get down to the next node. So let's say we're the stack just got pushed back and we're going to here, right? Well, now we just have to check is is our data at the null at the the node the node's data for both of them are they equal? So if they are both are equal, then we're going to return true. Otherwise, if they're not equal, well, well, we're returning false, right? If they're both equal, we're returning true. Otherwise, we're not returning false. And then we're just going to, like, recursively call this function and um, just return this one and this condition with the rest of the list. So we're just going to keep passing the null to the rest of the list and keep comparing doing this. So I'll show you guys what the code looks like for that. So here, if the first head is null, and the second head is null, then we're going to return true. Now, else if, if either of them is null, like head one's null, or head two is null, then we're going to return false. And I explained to you guys why that's the case. If one of the other head is null, right, or the other head is null, right, then we're turning false. Because that means one of these is a null pointer, and the other one, if, they're, if one of these are null, then we're turning false. Otherwise, we're going to check the data, so we're going to return the head's data, making sure the head's data 
of the first head's data is equal to the second head's data. Okay, and um, once we do this, we also have to end this condition with the rest of the list. So we're going to check the rest of the list, passing in next, recursively calling compare lists, passing in the next head's next and head two's next over and over again. And yeah, that's basically, basically the gist of this function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video to quick tutorial on how to uh, uh, compare two linked lists. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.